So we're talking about physical custody, which is the relative amount of time that parents spend with their children. During the school year, we, we very highly schedule the relative times between the parents based on what's best for the kids, based on their ages. For instance, for smaller kids, we may do more exchanges, which means that they may have different days of the week with, with different parents each week, whereas with older kids, they may have the same like first two days of the week with one parent, the second two days of the week with the other parent, because they need that regularity when it comes to school. In the summer, everything's different, because there is no school, things are looser, there's no homework, and there's no activities. Sometimes there's camp, and so we try to make the summer schedule different than the school schedule in a couple of different ways. The, the most important way and the most common way is that we give each parent some uninterrupted time with their children so that they have the opportunity to go away to the beach or travel abroad or whatever it is they want to do. The summer is usually the time that they do that. And we put in rules about who gets to pick which week first. Sometimes we alternate odd even. But the most important thing about summer and summer vacation is we want to make sure that we're honoring family traditions. So, for instance, if, if one family always has a beach vacation the second week of July, why should that stop? So that's the type of thing that we can write into a custody agreement, and I'm sure the other parent wants their children to, have, to continue that tradition, and maybe they have a tradition of their own, or they have a tradition that they would like to start. So those are the types of things that we can really customize in a parenting agreement to really make the summer special for the kids and for the parents. We can always change a custody agreement if the parties agree. There is a way to go into court to change these things, but changing something once you've agreed to it in court isn't as easy as just agreeing to things ahead of time or agreeing to things as they come up. The other things that we can do in the summer is we can change the basic schedule. So let's say we have what we call the 5225 schedule where one parent always has Monday, Tuesday, the other parent always has Wednesday, Thursday, and then they alternate weekends. And something we can do in the summer, if the parents agree, is to alternate weeks in the summer. So this way you don't have to have special vacation weeks. Every other week is a special week that the parent can put the child in a specialty camp or have them home, the parent can take off of work, or they could just decide to take their family trips on the weeks that they have vacation and it really can just set the summer off as different for the kids, something that they can remember. You know, you know, having kids, having parents in separate homes, you know, is kind of a bummer for kids a lot of the time, but, you know, why not make the summer more special than the school year? And we have the ability to do that, especially if we plan ahead. If the parties can't work out their issues, the court is going to step in, but when the court steps in, I don't think anybody's happy because the court's going to step in and give people pretty much a, just a, a vanilla schedule that, that they give to everybody. The court really doesn't have the time to give everybody the very special schedule that they want. But the guiding light should be what's best for the children because that's going to be the court's guiding light. You know, with, with some cooperation, we can usually come up with a schedule that works for everyone. If you go to court, you may get a schedule that's written with a cleaver, we try to write it with a scalpel.